Welcome to the ship graveyard. To the living, light the six torches and dive down to the sea floor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. Basically, light the torches, you will... There's five, where's number six? Is it up there? No. You gotta light them all at once, too. There it is. Get a little bit too high. Got it. This should give you an orange rupee. But most importantly, like the six torches. Basically, what that does is makes the ghost ship solid. So you can actually go into the ghost ship now. That is a no, that is a required thing to do. Uh, where's Thorn Fairy Isle? Oh God, Southern Fairy Island. Go to Southern Fairy Island. Theme guide in the I know Thorn Fairy Island. There was there were two Fairy Islands. Crescent moon, then where is it going to appear for? They don't have that chart, do I? Should be a ghost ship chart, but I don't think I have it. Home chart, beetle chart. No, I didn't. Okay. Triangle, Palm Isle, Forest, Paving, Cliff, Plateau, Bird, Seeds, Rock, Thorn Fairy. Alright, Tower of the Gods is the closest. And then we're gonna go to... This one's gonna be helpful because I, I just... I just need to... He needed the skull hammer in order to get to there, so. There it is. 
You can always tell when the Great Sea is loading in. It's kind of funny. Sharky. The rats are in the world. not right now maybe later actually I am gonna need beetle for a for a hoi pair um, it's actually gonna be the last one we need in the game too Wait, what kind of moon do we have Crescent Moon again, so I can go to Crescent Moon Isle. Ooh, I hope I can make it to Crescent Moon Isle. That's weird, I thought I had our... Bring out the hammer! Down the hole I go. Give me more arrows. I need them. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Give me more arrows. I need them. Yeah, 60. I need those. Like, badly. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's try and get to Crescent Moon Isle. I think this is going to count as Crescent Moon Isle. Away from me, body McBody face. Oh, not again. Yeah, okay, no crescent moon. It's closest to dragon roost. Now we could go to the two temples the wind and the earth temple, but the problem is we have to do two other islands first in order to do that. Great. I gotta bring up the map. Crescent moon. Is... Okay, so I can already hear uh, one of the people I need to take a picture of. That's going to be a missable picture, I believe. Okay, so we got a crescent moon. I saw it. Is this considered a crescent moon, or do, am I a fool? I think I'm a fool. I'm indeed a fool. That means that you are located... Because it's a gibbous. I think you're at Star Capelago. I'm doing this the hard way. Like, I'm trying to do this from memory here.
Okay, Star Archipelago is closest to Dragon Roost again. flight control platform. I need that later. I'm surprised I haven't fought more big octos yet. I think it's at Star Archipelago. No, it's not. What? Where is it at? Uh. Ah. Might as well just look it up. Because I don't remember where I get the chart from either. I think I get the chart actually from a big octo. Oh, I was wrong. I was right, Star Belt is one of the ones. Okay, it's a waning. Oh, it's a waning crescent. So where's a five star aisle? Five star. Oh, that's far. But Forest Haven should be able to. This game expected children to know what the phase of the moon are called. I miss when games were like this. Because I guess I was wrong. Crescent Moon Isle. Yeah, that, well, that might just be a crescent moon. Okay, five star isle. Five star isle is that way. Yeah. Go! Quickly! No time for hoy, small fray! There is a chart you can get for this. But you can't get the chart until later. I just want to do this now. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I was right. This is a waning crescent. Wait, what? I lit the torches! I lit the- I lit the torches! What? Okay, fine. Game doesn't want me to do it yet. Fine. I see how it is. Alright. Last thing I'm going to do before I go and turn in photographs. Look at this photograph. We're going to go to Windfall Island. And we are going to light the lighthouse. I'm 
curious. While we're here, we should also get a bottle. There she is. So you might not recognize this girl. This was the rich girl. This was the rich girl who the pirates ended up rescuing. Shh, shh. Take off, go away. Talk to her at night. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to talk during the day. There we go. Okay, that triggers her. Hello. Who's that? <coughs> Link is a good kitty. Who's that? Link the kitty. There she is. <laughs> you startled me. What, what do you want? My, my heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice. A knight creeping rascal. An ally of justice! What? The, a what? An, an ally of justice? I, I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please, let me go. It was um, just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led me to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little debutante in this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right. Every last bit of our family fortune. Gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working at the open-air shop, so, as you can see, I, at least I'm trying to settle my into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that tug at your heartstrings? What do you think about the tragic events in my pitiable life? It's terrible. That's kind of funny. It's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out, that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly became filthy rich. Maggie, of all people! It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Urgh. 
Do you understand my plight? Very well. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest? Because I like you. Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quabbling over nothing. Being a but being a poor soul poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I feel like I've let all the worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. We get the most valuable treasure of all. Another tennis racket. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It looked so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheapest things without blinking an eye. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye. Thanks for tonight. There we go. We have all the bottles in the game now. And we are truly an ally of justice. Justice! Whenever I think of that, I always think of the crimson chin, how he just yells justice. Uh, I don't think I took a picture of you. There we go. Right now, there should be another person up here, but he might not be here at night. No, he is here at night. Fine night, isn't it? Star Wars originally uses a lighthouse for Windfall Island, you know. Yeah, it used to send a bright shaft of light onto the night sea. Sort of, sort of a safety beacon, but that was quite some time ago. Even now, what's left of that lighthouse illumination device still spins up at the top at night. Every night. But its fire remains extinguished. Isn't that a sad story? And it doesn't have to be. I bet that something would light it up again if someone could just get that spark of fire inside of it. I'm curious. Okay, that counts. Because I he he's always facing that way, so I never knew. Alright, well I'm at it. Got it. And with the lighthouse lit, we get a treasure chest. All right, we're gonna go right here real quick. See where the wind blows. And the direction I'm facing. I should do south directly, right? I might not have enough magic for this, but I'm gonna try. Shot it by a little bit. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Overshot it. Can I get any magic right here? I think I'm only gonna get ruby. Well, no, there is a way I can get magic. That's with a potion. Can I break this? Oh, 
totally can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, green potion. Drink the potion. Ooh, potion shop man, I need picture of you actually now that I think about it. I do not have your picture, good sir. No, that's no potion ingredient. But it will immortalize you forever. Or at least until the NAND fails. This makes it so much easier, but I wanted to do the cool factor. Man, this is gonna be a treasure chart. I think. No, he's hard. Okay. And we can collect the last one right now, actually. Uh, we're finally gonna get use for um the skull necklaces. Thirty-seven of them. Jeez. Oh. Did I take a picture of Miss Mary? I think I did. She's not the one who we give the uh, things to. Ooh, actually, I don't think I took a picture of these two kids. Oh my, have you brought me more joy pens again? Again? Oh, thank you, sweet little dear. Thank you. 74. The champion of making people joyful. Please take this, you noble champion. And we got an orange rupee. It's not much, but you ever need some pocket change, right, dear? But let's just keep it between us. Okay, so I think they did take out the... Um, zoom in function that you could have done with the bow in this one that kind of sucks because that added a targeting reticle to the game which was very helpful uh it's something that was in the original wind waker you there halt Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were some were the postman. But thankfully, because if you were the postman, I would have you shooed you out before you could even say boo. But, say, you have a rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Yep. Hmm, are you actually bragging about whatever that is? Well, I suppose being poor does impair one's judgment. God, he is. Become a jerk. We got you. Now we're gonna talk to his daughter Maggie. First, we're gonna take a picture of Maggie. Oh, to think that I would survive this ordeal, my ordeal, and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house, it's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no. No, it's a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so fo he was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from him that cursed land. Just hearing his name lifts my spirit. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, Mo, why Mo? I probably killed Mo. 
I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my ever-loving, overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah. Uh, oh, this is... This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted into my own dream world. By the way, I have a request. Could you take this letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. And we got Maggie's letter. The letter from Maggie to her sweetie. The post box. Don't you dare forget. But you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be the shared only when she so desires. Okay, so we'll do that. And while we're at it. Eh? This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell actually quite well at antique shops. In fact, it's thanks to these beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. Eh, from the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? These aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy, filthy rich. All right, boy. I'll give this to you as a tip. Now, I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. And we got a treasure chart. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now, look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. Alright. So, we've done that. And the picto box is full. Let us go and deliver a letter. Chunk, This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Here's your sentence now. Yes. Your parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the Island Postal Service. We appreciate your business. Okay. And now. Let's see if it counts right away hmm strange I would have thought it would have already been delivered because it's been a day Good morning! Welcome to the Island Post Office. What do you want to have delivered? Nothing delivered. Ah, here's the uh, old man from before. Hmm, who might you be? Why do I get the strange feeling that I've m we've met before? Ah, it's you. Little boy who promises big promises and then fails to deliver on them. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't save my daughter. Fortunately, not everyone in this world fails to deliver. As it turns out, my dear Mia, Mila was saved by a group of kind pirates. The pirates had... A leader, Tetra, I believe she said her name was. I was most grateful. She did demand a rather hefty fee, though. Thanks to them, my fortune has vanished. We've hit rock bottom. But my little Mila is alive and home safe where she belongs, so I can't complain. A daughter is more important than money. Hey, just so you know, if you ever can money issues, I have good financial advice. You can talk to me anytime, chum. I'm not rich, but I've got plenty of cash, okay? What is your financial advice, good sir? Inquisitive minds wish to know. Alright, we're gonna go to the forest haven. Deliver these photos. And hopefully by the time we get there, um everything will be good. Delivering the letter. Because uh, delivering Maggie's letter will give you a piece of heart.
Nothing in the post box yet. I might have to wait a bit. This might be a later piece of art. And I'm probably gonna end the session off after this because I've been going on for a little bit. It's late at night. It's the weekend, but I have stuff I have to do tomorrow. Think you go down the hall. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more Legend of Zelda action, check out the top link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess done on the Nintendo GameCube. And for even more Zelda action, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS.